Hi, my name is Arun Murthy and I'm one of the founders of Hortonworks. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Apache Spark and the Hortonworks data platform. At Hortonworks, we bring to market HTTP, which we consider as a data operating system. The notion of the data OS consists of storage, compute, and metadata, together with operations, security, and governance to make it an enterprise-ready platform. Last, not least, we provide great user APIs for developers, which is where Spark comes in. What is Spark? Apache Spark is a fast, memory-oriented data processing engine for analytics. Many of our customers are embracing Spark within their Hadoop-based data architectures. As an example, WebTrends, our customer, currently processes 10 billion events per day at 20 millisecond latencies using Spark and HTTP. At Hortonworks, we've been doing a lot of work to ensure Spark is integrated well into the entire data OS. For example, we focus on integrating with, with the HDFS in-memory tier, HBase data frames, Yarn resource management, Hive Spark Introp, Atlas metadata, Ranger security, Ambari for deployment, and so on. Our next area of focus is on providing a great out-of-the-box user experience for data scientists and developers. We're in the process of integrating with and enhancing Apache Zeppelin, which is a web-based data science notebook that makes it really easy and fun to create Spark applications and visualize data. Now, you'll see a demo. In this demo, you have Dhruv, one of our solution engineers, playing the role of a data scientist who will use Spark and Zeppelin to do really interesting things. Hi, my name is Dhruv Kumar, and I'm going to be playing the role of a data scientist. Before I start analyzing the enriched events which the chief data officer has given me, I'm going to spin up some machines in the cloud so that I can interact with the data set in a very, very fast manner. Hortonworks recently acquired Sequence IQ, which manages the cloud APIs for you. So as a data scientist, I don't need to worry about how they work, and I can quickly spin up some clusters. So I'm going to go to launch.hotworks.com and sign into my interface. Once I'm inside, I will select Azure as my cloud provider. And I can now quickly create a cluster. Let's give my cluster a name of test Hadoop. Since we are in Northern California, I'm going to select Western United States as my region. And because I use Apache Spark for my data analysis and model building purposes, I'm going to use HTTP Spark cluster as my blueprint. When I select this blueprint, it gives me a bunch of options, which I can go inside and customize my cluster if I want to. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm satisfied, so I will spin up this cluster. Now, while this cluster spins up, let me introduce you to Apache Zeppelin. Apache Zeppelin is a notebook for data scientists. It connects to Spark in the back end and also to your shell. So from one interface, you can explore your data, launch shell commands, and build your models. Let's see how Apache Zeppelin looks like when these machines have spun up in the cloud. This is Apache Zeppelin. Over here, I have already taken these enriched events and brought them into my interface. And with just using a little bit of Scala and Spark code, I'm going to include them as a structured table. So over here, I have created an RDD, and I have registered it as a structured temporary table called enriched events. Now, because this table is in a structured format, I can quickly start exploring this data set by issuing simple Spark SQL commands. So let's see what this data set looks like by issuing some SQL queries on it. In this data set, we see that I'm given the event type, the certification status of the driver, the payment scheme, the number of hours the driver has driven in this week, the number of miles, some geographical information when the event happened, and also some weather data. My job now is to ask a series of questions to this data set to figure out what are the right features I should select in order to build my predictive model. How do I do that? I can simply issue SQL commands to understand and plot the data. So let's do that. First question I want to ask is whether certification has any impact on the violations. I can again issue a simple query and get the data set back. 
Once I have the result set back, I can start analyzing it by plotting it. This gives me a visual representation of the data. I can go on asking series of questions to this data set. Let's say fatigue causes violations. By issuing a SQL query, I get some results back, and I can further go inside and plot them in different formats to get a better appreciation of the data. Once I'm ready with my analysis, I can go inside and actually build my models. We can also see other types of charts here. For instance, over here, I have created a scatter plot showing latitude and longitude and the event type when it happened. I can also see where the weather conditions when that event happened and try to get a better sense of the data. I can now create a regression model. In this Spark Scala code, I'm invoking Apache Spark machine learning libraries, and I'm going to create a regression model which will run for 200 times until convergence. From this interface itself, I press this button, and it goes and talks to the cluster and runs this code 200 times until convergence. Great, my model is now built. Let us go inside and see what the model tells us about the conditions impacting the violations. Over here, we see that the foggy weather contributes most to the chance of a violation happening. This model is a regression model. It's a bunch of numbers. Now I can communicate this to my enterprise data architect, who can weave it together in a bigger story and apply it to a real-time model in maybe a storm bolt. Please go to hortonworks.com jumpstart to understand more.